Well, hello, loved ones. It's great to be with you. This is Dr. Sam. We're going live on Instagram, and we're going to praise the Lord together today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is good. He's good all the time. He's good through the tears. He's good through the hardships. He's good. He's good. He's good. So join us, join us, join us, and let me know where you're coming from. Y'all know I love to hear where you're coming from. This is God's kids from all over the world joining together now and joining together later. We got Mike Channel. We got Life Movements. We got Saito. We got Beauty. Oh, come on. Come on with it. We got Jacqueline. Come on with it. We got Jerusalem is here. Oh, that's our friend from England. Jill's here from Fresno. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We got our faith. Hallelujah. And we We've got uh, Bronzor and we've got Glitter Mama. We got Jacqueline again and Jan Wilson. Praise be to God. We got G Friend. We got Ar um, Arion. Hi, hi everybody. Hi Danielle. God bless you. The doctor's here with us. Arizona's here. Uh, we got Africa with us. Hallelujah. We got Mexico with us. Hallelujah. We got Cali. Fournier with us, Silmar, hello, North Carolina, God bless you, and uh, someone scared to get the vaccine, the Lord is with us, the Lord is good, Studio City, hello, Chicago, via Tennessee, I love that, woo, touch and do, hello from Virginia, yay, what's up, Danny G, God bless you all, God bless you, God bless you, God keep you, God shine his face upon you, shalom, shalom, as they say in Hebrew, hello, hello, as they say in English, Parev, parev, as they say in Armenian. Hola, as they say in Mexico. Yay. What's up, Encino, California? We got Alaska. Oh, y'all got some pretty eagles up in there. Alaska. Praise God. Praise God. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, Viviana. God bless you. Y'all ready to join me? Y'all ready to praise God? Y'all ready to say glory be to God? Our God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, glory, glory. Father, we praise you today. We bow before you. We are going to praise you continually in our tears, in our suffering, in our hardship, in our, when our heart is wrenched, when our heart is broken, when our heart is shattered, when our heart is crying and darkness seems to be around us, we are going to say, oh, oh, my soul, praise the Lord, praise his name, praise his goodness, my soul, praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my soul, praise him, praise him, for he is good, he is king, he is great, he is love, he is holy, he is my master and savior, we praise you, Father, today. In the midst of our hardship, we praise you. In the midst of trouble, we praise you. In the midst of going through the valley of shadow of death, we praise you. In the midst of hell and death, we praise you. In the midst of heartaches, we praise you. We praise you. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy of praise. Glory and honor and power and praise belong to our King forever and ever. We praise you continually. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice rejoice in the Lord always and again and again and again and again and again I say rejoice in the Lord hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb of God who was and is and is to come Lord God you parted the Red Sea you parted the Red Sea when there was trouble you parted the Red Sea when there was death you parted the Red Sea when there was an execution to happen. You parted the Red Sea when there was a great threat. You parted the Red Sea when Pharaoh was on the, his horses and chariots and the Israelites were only on foot and they could not go anywhere. You parted the Red Sea, Papa. You parted the Red Sea. We praise you. And right now, I proclaim in the name of Jesus that you part the Red Sea for my loved ones who are listening, my loved ones who are hearing, and my loved ones who will here in the future you're parting the Red Sea hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb of God though we walk through the valley of shadow of death we shall fear no evil for you O Lord God you are with us your rod and your staff they strengthen us hallelujah hallelujah to the Lamb hallelujah hallelujah we come before you and we bow before you father because you're worthy you're good you're honorable you're kind your truth in you there is no lie in you there 
there is no wrong. In you, there is no sin. You knew no sin. You did no sin. You are sinless. And we, the sinful ones, come and belong to you because we're underneath the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We praise Him. Don't we praise Him, y'all? We praise Him. Give the Lord a clap. Give the Lord a praise of clap. Say, Papa, I love you. I may be going through hard times, but that don't stop me from loving you. That don't stop me from praising you. That don't stop me from bowing before you and saying, you are God, I am not. I don't understand my situation. I don't understand what I'm going through, but I praise you. I love you. I'll honor you. I will trust you. I will not lean unto my own understanding in all my ways. I will acknowledge you. And I know, I know, I know, oh, I know you're going to direct my path. I know you're going to direct my path. I know you're going to direct my path. I know you're going to heal my heart. I know you're going to walk with me through this valley. I know, I know, I know, oh, I know. I trust you because that's the truth for me. I, it's a fact that I'm going through hard times, but the truth is that you're with me. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. To the Lamb of God. Amen and amen. I got a song. I was trying to sing it last week, but I got the words right in front of me. It's called, Oh Lord, You're Beautiful. I got to start low, I think, because it goes high. So we got to go low. So let's see if we can do it, y'all. Piano, saxophone, let's go. It's called, Oh Lord, You're Beautiful. And I think Keith Green wrote it. Oh Lord, you're beautiful, your face is all I see, for when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. Let's sing it again. Oh Lord, you're beautiful, your face is all I seek, and when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. Oh Lord, please light that fire that once burned bright and clear. Replace the lamp of my first love that burns with holy fear. Sing that again. Light the fire, Lord, in our hearts. We want to seek the face of God right now. We want the Holy Spirit to move in a special way. We are part of the revival that's hitting America and the world. We ask the Holy Spirit to fall, to fall, to fall, fall, fall on us. We ask the Holy Spirit who is in us to explode from our spirit, to come into our soul, our mind, and to our bodies. And when the Spirit explodes and comes into our soul, our emotions are healed. And when the Holy Spirit in us explodes and comes to our bodies, our bodies are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's how I proclaim that you are healed. Because in the Spirit, when you are under the Lamb of God, your spirit is pure, your spirit is clean, your spirit is holy. And that spirit, that's where the Holy Spirit lives. And when that spirit bursts and leaks outward, because nothing can come inward, it's sealed by the Holy Spirit. It's sealed by God. Nothing can touch it. You're, you're one third Holy Ghost inside of you. God is in you. You ain't God. I am not God. If you think you're God, let me come over there and slap you. But you ain't God and I'm not God. But by God is in us, our God, our creator, because if we come to Christ, he is in us. And that spirit is pure. It's clean. It's 100%. 
Nobody touches it. That's when, when we accept Christ, that spirit becomes totally new. That's when it says you become a new creation. The old has passed away. The new has come. It's talking about our spirit, not our mind, not our soul, not our body, but our spirit. Our, our, our spirit is 100% pure. And so that spirit, may it now burst in you. May it leak outward in your soul. May it leak outward in your emotions, your hurting emotions, your, your tearing, that, your, that, that emotion that's tearing you apart. May it leak and leak and, and may the springs of water pour out from your spirit and may the spirit of God begin to heal you. And that's the fire of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, please light the fire that once burn bright and clear. Replace the lamp of my first love that burns with holy fear. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Just take a minute and tell him that he's beautiful, that he's mighty. That he's good, that he's holy, and that you love him. See, this is not love that we loved him, but that he first loved us and sent his only son as a propitiation for our sins. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I see. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. I don't want to leave the presence of the Lord, oh Lord, you're beautiful, your face is all I seek and when your eyes are on this child your face your grace abounds in me oh lord please light that fire light them light that fire lord light that fire in my loved ones who are hurting right now who feel like you know i can't even get through i, I can't even i can't even get through i i can't i'm trying everything in my life i'm trying I'm, I'm reading i'm 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 praying but i just can't get through there's a blockage oh lord Lord, light that fire that once burned bright and clear. Replace the lamp of my first love that burns with holy fear. Perhaps you or I have replaced our first love, the lamp of our first love, Jesus Christ, with, with something in our lives, with even pain, uh, with even sorrow, with, with heartache, or with, uh, with uh, a goal in life, or with somebody, someone, something, somewhere, sometime, and, and chasing and chasing and chasing and, and running after and, and being so busy in life, perhaps, perhaps we lost it, perhaps we lost the first, that fire, and I don't want to lose that fire, I don't, I don't want to lose my Jesus, I, He never lost me, 
and and I don't want to lose him. I don't want to run away. I don't want to turn back. I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't want, I don't want, there's nothing that can fulfill like Jesus Christ. So come back, come back, come back. Let's come back to him. He never left us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He's always there with us. Even when we don't get what we want, when we pray, he never leaves us. He always is for us. He knows more than we do. And when he doesn't answer like we want, he still knows more when we do and when he answers as he does he answers because he loves you he loves you he loves you he loves you oh lord i had something to to preach today but maybe we're just gonna focus on god here and i mean we're gonna focus on god to preach but this is an atmosphere i'm just loving sharing God with you, sharing the Lord. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Seeking your face, Lord God. We don't know where to turn to. We don't know what to say. But we will say what Jehoshaphat said, that I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Second Chronicles 20, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Your face is all I see, for when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. Oh Lord, please light the fire. That ones burn bright and clear, replace the land of my first love that burns with holy fear. Lord, you're everything we wanted. You tell us to seek. First, the kingdom of God in Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. And Lord, I ask that you forgive me because all these things have been the what I have been seeking. All these things are, are what I want. All these things is what I have run after. Lord God, forgive me and forgive my loved ones. Because here right now we're seeking you. Your face is all we seek. And so, Lord, you tell us to seek ye first the, the kingdom of God, your kingdom, uh, your righteousness, your holiness, your goodness, your, to serve you. We give thanks to you, Lord. We come into your throne with singing. We, we come and serve you with praise. Father, what do you want us to do as we seek you? What do you want us to say as we come to you, as we come to your holy throne? And in Hebrews 4, 16, you say, come to my throne, come to the throne of grace boldly. And so, Father, we come boldly, not with an attitude, not with a pompous mind, not with a pompous heart, but we come to you with an attitude of humility and honor and praise. But we do come boldly because that's what you asked us to do. And we come boldly and we say, Father, we're here to seek your grace, to seek your favor, to seek your mercy, and to obtain it because that's what you told us to do in time times of our need and my loved ones and I are in a time of our need we're time that's hurting we're time that things are not they're not stacking up in the right places father we seeking you in the same time we're praising you we're in awe of you we fear you we love you we lift up your name we lift up your name and so father we seek you i'm asking that you would open up our hearts and minds at this time and to tell my loved ones what exactly you want them to do, how we need to obey. And this life is not ours, as a loved one just wrote, this life ain't ours, this life belongs to you. What do you want us to do, Papa? Right now, Father God, we're asking that you would fill us, 
feel us. I know the Holy Spirit's in us. It's just our mind and our body that don't feel it because we're not in tune with your spirit. We're in tune with the world, but we're not in tune with you. And this is the time, the sweet hour of prayer that we are spending with you so that we may be in tune. We're getting a tune up. It's like a piano getting tuned up. It's like a car getting tuned up. It's like a body getting a physical exam, an examination yearly. But now we need to do it daily, Father. So we come before you and we're getting this tune up before you. Oh, Father, when our hearts are overwhelmed, lead us to the rock, according to Psalm 61. Lead us to the rock that's higher than ours. That we're, we're just little, but you're the rock, and we come to the rock. You are the rock that's higher than we are. We come to you. Lead us to that rock. Lead us to Jesus. Lead us to where Moses was in the wilderness when he had to hit the rock, when there was thirst in the land, when there were trouble in the land, and he hit that rock because you told him to hit the rock, and water flew out of that rock rock and they they drank and father we're thirsty in the wilderness we come before you we're thirsty in the wilderness and there is trouble all around us and father we're hitting the rock in the name of Jesus not because we're striking the rock twice but just once once you already were crucified for us. We come to the cross. We come to Calvary. We come to the rock, Jesus. And Father, pour your blood on us. Like being in Niagara Falls. And all that water just coming down. Uh, the blood of Jesus may it come down. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit may it burst from our spirit. And, and run through our minds and emotions and body. Oh, Father. Father, fill us as we seek you. Fill us, Father. Tweak us in a way that you want us to be tweaked so that we may think about you, know you, honor you, serve you, be going after the righteousness of God and not our own deals. Your righteousness, your holiness, your goodness. Father, you, 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 may you be glorified. May you be glorified. May you be glorified, Father. May you be glorified. Let's go back and sing again. And tell him how beautiful he is. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I seek. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. Sing it. Tell him how beautiful he is. In your pain, let, that, let the Spirit burst. Let the Spirit in you that's filled with the Holy Spirit, let it burst and come to your mind and your emotions and your will and your body. Let it come. Let it seep through. Let that soul that's been hungering for him let it receive the beauty of Jesus Christ and the, the power of the Holy Spirit that you've been so longing for let it seep in you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I proclaim right now that that spirit is bursting and then and that you're you are experiencing the love and the goodness and the power of the Holy Spirit the cleansing power and the healing power of the Holy Spirit. That pain, that pain in you is going away. The pain in your soul is dissipating. It's decreasing. The pain in the body is dissipating and decreasing as you are being healed in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I seek. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. I pray that the grace of God abound in you. I pray that there would be grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, 
favor upon favor in your life and your loved one's life. Whoever's listening right now, I'm proclaiming that there be favor upon favor on you. Mercy upon mercy. Grace upon grace. I'm tired of taking ourselves down and saying I'm no good for nothing. Nothing good is going to happen to me. Everything false is happening to me. Everybody's attacking me from the left or right and my body and my heart and my soul and and I'm just in pain and I'm, I'm in turmoil. I'm tired of saying that. I just want to say, Lord, I'm seeking you. I'm seeking you. I'm seeking your face. I'm seeking your glory. I'm seeking your honor. I want to serve you. I want to honor you. And as do, as I do that, Father, I know, I know I'm going to proclaim that favor upon favor is falling on me. That grace upon grace is falling upon me. That mercy upon mercy is falling upon me. That goodness upon goodness is falling upon me. That righteousness upon righteousness is falling upon me. And my love ones right now who are listening to us all all over the world grace upon grace as we seek his face as we seek his face may your life right now change in the name of Jesus not because you want what you want or you're going to get what you want to get but because you seek his face you seek his face You seek His grace. You seek His favor. You seek His righteousness. You seek His kingdom. You seek Him first. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on Him. Our eyes are on Him, and He will do the rest. We trust Him with all our hearts, and let's not lead on to our own understanding. Let's, in all our ways, acknowledge God. We're going to acknowledge you, God. We're going to acknowledge you and say, whatever we say or do, we want you to lead it. In all our ways, will acknowledge him and father we know we claim that you're going to direct our ways you're going to direct our ways you're going to direct our ways you're going to direct you're going to direct our ways don't lose this don't lose this don't lose this he's with you right now don't lose this don't don't go anywhere else don't 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 listen to anything else don't 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 get involved with anything else don't go back to your pain get into christ he, he's the one that takes care of the pain when you and i stay in the pain the pain grows but when we stay in christ the pain dissipates the pain goes down because christ took on your pain and my pain on the cross he took it for you he loves you he's merciful to you even if things ain't going right he still loves you don't you dare don't you dare don't you say say nothing else he loves you he loves you he loves you in the name of jesus he loves you alone you're beautiful your face is all i see And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds in me. O Lord, please light the fire. That once burned bright and clear, replace the lamp of my first love that burns with holy fear. Y'all remember the fire that uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into that was turned up seven times by King Nebuchadnezzar? There is a fire that's stronger than that fire. There is a fire that's stronger than that fire fire that went seven times higher. There's a a fire that's stronger than what killed the soldiers that threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in. There's a fire, and that fire is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and our God, our Savior. There's a fire that's stronger than your pain. There's a fire that's stronger than your loss. There's a fire that's stronger than your tears. 
There's a fire that's stronger than the heartbreak that you face. There's a fire that's stronger than the finances that you face. There's a fire that's stronger than your situation. There's a fire that's stronger than your circumstances. There's a fire that burns and that fire is in you right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of our Holy God. And He's changing right now. He's changing right now. He's changing everything in you in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can stay in your pain if you want, but that pain ain't going away. That pain's going to grow. But if you stay in the fire of Jesus Christ, see, there's a fire of pain. And that fire of pain gets worse and worse. But the fire of Jesus Christ takes out that fire of pain and it burns in you. And all of a sudden, you who are weak and I who am weak can say, I am strong. Joel 3.10, let the weak say, I am strong. Say it. Let the weak say, I am strong. Say it. Let the weak say, I am strong. Say it. Let the weak say, I am strong. I am strong in Christ. I am strong in Christ. I am strong in Christ. Let the weak say it. Let the weak say it. Everybody's trying to get a better world down here. Everybody's preaching about how can you get better? How can you get better down here? How can you get your own? How can you do survive better? How can you get richer? Let's not talk about here. Let's talk about heaven. How do we get ready for heaven? We burn with fire down here of the Holy Ghost. That's how we get ready for heaven. That's how we get ready for heaven. Everybody thinking about 70, 80, 90, 100 years. But we better start to start thinking about eternity. And that's why we got to seek God's face. And that's why revival is happening to you and me right now. Don't you go look nowhere else. It's happening right this second as you and I speak in the name of Jesus strong. Yes, you are strong. Yes, you are strong. Yes, you are strong. In the name of Jesus. If you don't know Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you there's going to be a lot of good people that are going to go straight to hell. Yeah, because there's only a heaven and hell. There ain't no purgatory. There ain't no golf course. There ain't no Jack Daniels dispensary where you sit there and drink all day long. There ain't no like, uh, you know, craziness, a party all day long going on. No, heaven is party all day long. Heaven is singing all day long. Heaven is worshiping all day long. Heaven is going from planet to planet, from universe to universe and exploring great things. That's heaven. It's being with Christ and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And it's fun. It ain't boring. But hell. Hell, hell is not a picnic. Hell is not cool. Hell is not a place where you like, oh, I'm going to go sit there and play golf. Even if there was a golf course, there ain't no golf balls in hell, y'all. I'm talking. I'm telling. You, you choose. You choose which way you want to go. But it ain't because you're pretty. And it ain't because you're all that. And it ain't because you got a degree. And it ain't because you got money. And it ain't because you're all smooth. The only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Ain't nobody coming through the Father except through Jesus Christ. You get that straight. That ain't hate speech. That's love speech because love tells you what's wrong. A doctor who don't tell you what's wrong and treat you, that's malpractice. An evangelist who don't tell you what's wrong and don't treat you or giving you the right treatment, that's malpractice. I'm telling you right now, straight up, we are not watering down the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're going to preach the truth. And the truth is God loves you and there ain't nothing you've done, nowhere you've gone, nothing that you said that he can't fix. He gonna fix it all. Only Jesus, only Jesus, only Jesus. Now that's love. Because you know who you are and that ain't pretty. And only Jesus gonna fix you. That's love. Only Jesus wants you all the way. That's love. That ain't hate. That's love. Jesus. Jesus alone. That's love. <laughs> That's love. So if you don't know him, you listening to this later on or whenever you're listening, say, Lord God, I must be messed up. 
I did things, I said things, I ain't going the right way. And now I, I know when I, when I die, I don't know where I'm going, heaven or hell. Well, Father, I come to you and I say I'm a sinner and I accept the fact that I'm a sinner, that you died on the cross for me and you bled on the cross and on the third day you rose from the dead and I accept that blood, I accept your resurrection, I accept the fact that, that the Lord God, the Lord Jesus Christ is raised from the dead and I accept the fact as, as he's my Lord and Savior and now the Holy Spirit it comes and lives in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen. I did not expect this today. I did not expect this, but this is the way it turned out, and revival has begun in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, you are strong, and you are His. You, be <laughs> you belong to Him praises to our God. I love you all. It's been so much fun, so much fun to be with you guys. And you bring out what's in my soul and um, you sharpen me. I, I may not be seeing you here, but you loved ones are sharpening me. And I thank you for joining. We're going to praise the Lord together and we're going we're gonna to have a revival across the nations in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we'll seek him first. Amen. I love you all. Blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.